Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if an app has been blocked or your protection error you're coming across on your Windows computer. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating error message to keep occurring and you're unable to run the applications you need to run. And I got you covered and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, it's so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should come back a registry editor. We want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it so anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab, select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're looking to the date that you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, just put select file and import and then you just navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it now. And we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. And now you want to navigate to Microsoft, double click on that. Do the same thing for Windows, so we're going to just scroll down a little bit here. And again, double click on that. And now locate current version, double click. Policies. And double click on that. And now it should be a system folder, just left click on that one time. On the right side, you want to look for a D word value that says enable LUA. Double click on that. For value data, delete whatever's in there. Type the number zero as it appears on my screen. Left click on OK. Now that you've done that, you can close out of the registry editor and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.